Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 11 to the power of 4, plus 100 to the power of 4, then plus 111 to the power of 4, divided by 2. So let's prevent the solution here. Now, from this square root math problem, we can let a to be equal to 11 and we can let b to be equal to 100 so in this case we can express this as the square root of now here we have a to the power of 4 then plus 100 which is b to the power of 4 then plus now we can express 111 this is the same thing as a plus b raised to the power of 4. Everything here divided by 2. The next step from here, we have that a plus b raised to the power of 4. This is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of n. So now, to expand this equation here, we can use the binomial expansion such so that we have a plus b raised to the power of n starting with n equal to 2 here then we have 1 here we have 1 1 plus 1 this is 2 then 1 when n is equal to 3 we'll have 1 1 plus 2 this is 3 then 2 plus 1 this is 3 and then 1 when n is equal to 4 like in our case here then we have 1 1 plus 3 this is 4 3 plus 3 this is 6 3 plus 1 this is 4 and then 1. Now these are the coefficients here so that now here we'll have the square root of we have a to the power of 4 then plus b to the power of 4 then now plus let's expand this we'll have here a to the power of 4 then plus we have 4 a to the power of 3, b, then plus 6, a to the power of 2, then b to the power of 2, then plus, here we have 4, 4a, four b to the power of 3, and then plus 3, plus b to the power of 4. Everything here, divided by now the next step is that here we have the square root of now we have a to the power of 4 here and we have a to the power of 4 so let's com combine this so that you have 2 to the 2 a to the power of 4 then plus we have b to the power of 4 here and b to the power of 4 here so we can combine this so that we have 2 b to the power of 4 then now plus here we have 6, a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2, then plus 4, a to the power of 3, b, then plus 4, a, b to the power of 3, everything here, divided by 2. The next step here, the next step from here, we can factor out 2, let's factor out 2 from here. So that in the numerator part, we will have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4. Then plus, here we have 3, a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2. Then plus, here we'll have 2, a to the power of 3, b. Then plus 2, a, b to the power of 3. Cross the parentheses, everything here divided by 2. So let's simplify here. Let's simplify 2 and 2 here. So that now, here we have the square root of, this is a to the power of 4, plus b to the power of 4, then plus, we can express 3a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2 as 2, a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2, then plus a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2, then plus, here we have, 2a to the power of 3, b, 
10 plus 2a bit to the power of 3. So we can factor out a, that is we can factor out 2 a, b, so that now into the parentheses, here we have a to the power of 2, then plus b to the power of 2. Now the next step from here, we have that a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus 2, a to the power of 2 and b to the power of 2. This particular part here, we can express this part as a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. And this implies that here now we'll have the square root of a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then now plus. Now, we can express a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2 as a, b raised to the power of 2. Then now plus, here we have 2ab into the parentheses. This is a squared plus b squared. Okay. Now, the second, the next step from here, we have, this is the same thing as the square root of. Now, you find that we can express the whole of these particular parts here. This can be expressed as a squared plus b squared, then plus ab raised to the power of 2. Now, we have here the square root of a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 plus ab raised to the power of 2, then plus 2ab into the parentheses a squared plus b squared. Now, the whole of this particular part here, we can express this as the square root of, this is the same thing as a squared plus b squared plus ab raised to the power of 2. Now, this implies that the next step here, we can eliminate this square root sign by simplifying here. And therefore, here we have a squared plus b squared, then plus a b. Now, the next step is that if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let a b equal to 11 and let b b equal to 100. Now, substituting this, then here this implies we have 11 to the power of 2, then plus 100 to the power of 2, then plus, here we'll have 11 times 100. So 11 squared, this is equal to 121, then plus 100 squared, this is equal to 10,000, then plus 11 times 100, this is 1100. So this implies here we have 10,000 plus we have 1100 and then we have 121. So let's sum this. So here we have, this is 1, 0 plus 2, this is 2, then zero, 1 plus 1 here, this is 2, and then we have 0 plus 1, this is 1, and then we have 1. So we have 11,200. 21 and this is the final solution to this square root math problem so kindly follow the steps kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please subscribe to this channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new videos thank you for watching